Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching Full Take. I was using the Evolution X7.4 from a few days on my Nothing Phone 1. We have created the full review video of that update. You can check that from the iCard. We also given the battery review by the community post. You can check that in the community post at our channel. As we decided to give you the review of all the custom ROM for the Nothing Phone 1, so it's time for the eight another most popular custom ROM called as Nameless OS. Nameless OS is the pure AOSP ROM which aimed to give the pure Pixel device experience with the stability, performance and the addition of some useful features. So today in this video we will see what's working, features, performance, stability test and at last I shown some bugs with quick installation tutorial. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. As you did the clean flash and phone started to boot into the pixel boot animation. We have shown the installation part at the end of the video. So watch the video till the end. After completing the setup, phone booted to the stock pixel launcher. Now let's jump to the about phone to check the details of the ROM. So this ROM is based on the Android 13 Tiramisu with the same Android 13 Easter egg. Security patch is of December 2022. Kernel version is 5.4.210, builded with the latest Clang toolchain 14. Developer and maintainer of ROM is Chandu Devian Pali. Build date of ROM is 26 December 2022. ROM is up to date with the all the latest sources and the new build with the January 2023 security patches will be released soon. As this is the initial build, I tested all the major parts like the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, NFC, GPS, screencast, all the things are working. When I tested the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope, all the sensors are also working fine. Some other important features like the fingerprint, speaker, mic, ear proximity, multi-touch are absolutely fine without any issues. VoLTE HD incoming and outgoing calling is working. ROM comes with the call recording feature and call records will be available under the call lock section. Google Photos unlimited photo backup is working. Vibration haptics are way better than the stock nothing was as they are more softer than the stock ROM. Off screen OK Google voice activation is working along with the edge swipe gesture. Now let's check out the camera section. ROM comes with the nothing was camera application and is almost fully working with some minor bugs. Slow motion video stabilizations are working but the 4K 60 FPS recording and the recording light is not working. All the wide angle camera modes are working fine. Portrait mode for the main camera is working, but the selfie cam portrait modes are not working. It doesn't save the portrait photos in the gallery. Time lapse, panorama mode, macro mode, and the export mode all are working very good. So we've got the fully working nothing camera with the minor flaws, and it will be get fixed in the new update. Now let's check out the safety net. ROM is passing the safety net so we can run all the banking and security applications without the issues. ROM storage is encrypted so your data is safe if you are using the password encryption so no one can steal your data. Google Play Store is certified so all the major things we have tested here and they are all working fine. Now it's time to check some features in the ROM. Nameless is the pure vanilla AOSP ROM but still they added some basic features like under display and the lock screen setting. We gave the edge lighting notifications for the always on display and it's working very good. Who gets the display colors like the allow, standard, boosted, saturated and adaptive mode. There is a dedicated setting for the max and the minimum refresh rate. Pocket mode is available which is more power efficient than the always on display. In the brightness slider setting we can set the brightness slider to be displayed in the quick setting and the notification panel. We can change the position of brightness slider at the top or the bottom of the quick setting panel. In the quick setting tiles layout we can toggle to hide the tiles labels. Under the same display setting, we can also case the network speed indicator. In the clock and the date setting, same old traditional customizations for the status bar are available. Double tap on the status bar to screen off the display and double tap to wake sleep toggles are given in the ROM and they are all working fine. Under the themes option, we case the bunch of the body fonts, system icon packs, icon shapes, Wi-Fi and the network icon styles. Swipe to wake on the lock screen toggle is available but it's not working. Ambient brightness slider is available by using this we can increase or decrease the brightness of always on display. 
instead of this customization who gives all the other custom gesture features like one handed mode music playback control using the volume buttons double tap to check the phone press and hold power button to access the google assistant advanced restart all are available in the gestures option inside the system setting so what about the glyph rom has the dedicated glyph interface setting in that who gives the glyph light brightness slider charging meter indicator notification light toggle now who gives the glyph light only for these options fully working glyph still not available here who just gives the notification blinking of the top right corner glyph light for now as this is the official rom who gives the ot updater in the system in the ot updater we also gives the local install option so no need to do any manual update process via recovery when you gives any ot notification now it's time to check the performance of the rom all the aosp roms are highly performance oriented so as usual this rom also has the great performance it's highly fluid fast and furious apps opening closing switching between the applications ram management all things are fine most of the applications runs on the constant 120 hertz but sometimes applications like camera screen refresh rate goes down to the 60 hertz even if you enable the force 120 hertz in the developer setting when i ran the geekbench i got the score of 794 and 2800 for the single core and multi core respectively overall this course is pretty good and similar with the slight difference as compared to the other custom roms that we tested already When we ran the Hulkan graphics API test, we got a score of 2544, which is slightly better as compared to the other custom ROMs. So overall, numerical and the real-life performance of the ROM is very good. To test the CPU performance at the high temperature, I ran the CPU throttling test for the five minutes, and I got very good results without any red or yellow lines graphing during the test. We got a score of 92% of CPU throttling. After running the test, I checked the CPU temperature. and they ranged a normal between 45 to 40 degrees Celsius during whole the days now it's time to show you the bugs rom didn't comes with any major issues but like issues of the wide wan for the all the other custom rom this rom also has the wide wan security level of l3 so we can't stream netflix and the amazon prime at the full hd resolution who had already seen the glyph light is only partially working for the notification Once developer gets the source for the glyph interface by the nothing we will get fully working glyph light soon under display and the lock screen who gets the media cover art toggle but it's not showing any blur effect on the lock screen when we plays any music except this minor issues everything is fine so let's check out the final chapter of the video that is how to flash the rom we need to download the four files like the dtbo boot image fender underscore boot image full rom zip file Place them in a platform tools or on the desktop of your PC. Enable the developer setting and the USB debugging in the phone. Power off it. Long press the volume down plus power button. Phone will boot to the fast boot mode. Now open the CMD window in the folder where you placed all the files using the Shift key of keyboard plus right click of your mouse. In the CMD first type fast boot device it and check the device is properly connected or not. First flash the DTBO file by typing the fast boot flash DTBO and drag the DTBO file in the CMD and hit enter. Now to flash the boot image type fast boot flash boot and drag the boot image file in the CMD. Next flash the vendor underscore boot using the command as shown on the screen. Now type fast boot reboot recovery on the phone. Tap apply update. Select the ADB side load. Now type ADB side load and drag the full ROM zip file in the CMD and hit enter. You will see the flashing will start in the CMD along with the flashing process. Once it get finished, you get the one X for notification in the CMD. Now in the recovery tap factory reset. Once done, tap reboot to the system. That says phone will reboot to the new Pixel boot animation of Nameless OS. Overall, my experience for the Nameless OS is pleasant. It's nearly similar to the Pixel experience ROM. If you like the simplicity with the minor customization, stability, and the performance, then this ROM is for you. I will report the battery life with the community post similar like we given for the Evolution X. Until then, if you think this video helped you, then please do like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.